this about yesterday? Well, that was a bit out of the blue with Emma. S sorry, Diane, don't take this the wrong way, but why are you here? Right now, being concerned with someone who's very dear to me. Don't take this the wrong way. But, Lord, why do you care so much about James? I know it was terrible the way he died, but you've just suffered a much bigger, much more recent what, you mean loss James of your own. being pushed off a bridge onto Ashley, which could have killed him and who knows who else. Oh, Lord. And Ashley... When he was still here, at his most vulnerable, that woman tormented him and terrified Arthur because he knew something about you James. You can't know no, that! Ladies, I do. ladies, please. A little anti-clockwise on the volume control, please. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Arthur. Arthur, tell me what happened to the memory card. The what? I have. It dropped in the water. Yeah, but for how long? I don't know. No, no. Yeah, but my phone, I dropped that in the toilet last Christmas. I got it out quickly. I went on the internet. They said put it in rice. I did, and it was fine. So maybe it'll work for other things. It's been a bit long. Yeah, yeah but it's worth a try, isn't it? Where do you think it is now? I must all got it, I suppose. Oi! What was all that with your mum yesterday, by the way? It's two things. It's nonsense and none of your business. Not convinced. Hey. You need to stop spreading nasty lies. Well, I'd need to have started to stop. Right, but my nan is ill and I'm stopping with her for a bit. When I get back, if I find out that you've been harassing my mum... It's mom... a small village, OK? We're going to bump into each other. Yeah, well, she must feel the same cos she can barely stand to be around here. Pete's had to take her away for the day. You shouldn't have to. Oh, so she's run away again? I mean, innocent people don't do that, do they, Finn? Well, there you go, cos it's only for today. So if you're open for round two, you've got a bit of a weight on your hands. Yeah? Stay away. I mean it. thought you'd hung up and couldn't hear me. Come on, out no, for goodness sake! You need to find that car, Bob! I honestly think you need to find your sanity first. Oh, a shopping a murderer is insane now, is it? But you've broken into someone's house, Laurel! I'm tidying up. Look, just leave everything, OK? I'm still looking, Lydia. Look, do you want to get caught, eh? Do you want to get hauled off by the police? Maybe even go to prison? How's Arthur going to feel about that in any case, eh? Do, do I have to deal with that on top of everything else? I'll have it spick and span. You need to let this go, Laurel. OK, OK. OK, I, I, I can't, but I'll leave here. But I'm going to carry on looking and, until I can prove to everyone exactly what that woman is. OK, all right, yeah, I'll settle for that. Now, come on! Ow! You all right? No, I'm not. It's my toilet brush and... How many bloods at the crime scene? Oh, I don't think you need to worry about that. It's not your DNA they'll be finding. Uh, come on, let's just go in any case. Yeah. But before you do, maybe we could have a little chat. <laughs> oh, I'll just have your coffee here so I can rob your house. Oh, it's not that. It just, it, it just got a bit out of hand, that's all. And we didn't rob it. Did we, Laurel? Have we taken anything? No. Look, your mum said a few things to Ashley which, by her own admission, were not that great. No, and it's what... not what she said to Ashley, it's what she did to your dad. You should be glad that we're here. You should be wanting to help. We should go. You should. But it ought to be in handcuffs, don't you think? I'm I really think sorry. This has gone far it's so you can bleat out some fairy tale about phantom memory cards or whatever Finn said you were blathering on about yesterday. Go on, get out! Laurel! Come on, eh? I'd listen to your accomplices if I were you. Are you scared of the truth? Or do you already know it? Because eventually, everyone will. Meaning? If the evidence I'm looking for has gone, there'll be something else, something better. Your mum's not a criminal mastermind. 
So you can either call the police or you can let us go. But I will be telling them my story again, whatever it takes. She killed your dad, Ross. How can you not care? It's just so wrong. Police, please. Don't. Tim. I think you need something else on this. Ross, have you not got anything? I'm sorry, did you think you were breaking into a hospital or something? Mrs Thomas, I'll ask you one more time. Will you please come with us? I, and I said I will, once you've let me tell you why I'm here. We don't tend to let housebreakers dictate the terms of their arrests. But I'm not under arrest, am I? Yeah, I'd noticed that. Any special reason? Hello. What's happened now? Oh, just a spot of burglary. Bob? Lydia? Yeah, they're in on it too. No, they're not. They were just trying to get me to leave. Apparently about as successfully as us. Was anything stolen? No. You're safe for now. I didn't find it. Is this still about the memory card? I have no idea. I've, I've just come in. You know it is. And you know, Laurel, that it's ruined. I wish it wasn't, or we could watch it together and put an end to all of this. Yeah, speaking of ending it, I think you're well within your rights to drag air by your air or a nose, even. No one is going to need any dragging, are they? Uh, just wait. You don't have to arrest her, do you? She broke into your house, Miss Barton. There's just a bit of misunderstanding, that's all. Hasn't there? Yeah. Laurel, you're welcome here any time. All I ask is that you drop by when I'm actually in. Where have you been, love? Out. Why? Well, Arthur was wondering for one thing. Uh, uh, Diane made him something to eat. All right. Thanks, Diane. Uh, the other reason we were wondering is the police are outside Emma's again. Oh, dear, what is it now? I went for the memory card. So she called the police on you this time? Well, Ross did. Emma wasn't there. Nor was Ross, to begin with. You broke in! Laurel, where's this going to end? With Emma in prison. Visiting you, I imagine. Oh, dear, what trouble are you in now? Well, I'm not in any, because she didn't press charges. You've had a lucky escape. She's the one getting away with it. She was so reasonable. I mean, oh, officer, there's been a misunderstanding. And you're looking that gift horse in the mouth? Well, the police must think I'm... On the brink of madness, having a nervous breakdown or something. It's not just them, Laurel. Oh, you must see, you've got to let this go now, while you're still a free woman. Kids upstairs? Yes, Dottie's asleep, Arthur's playing. Oh, go on. Laurel! I'm just rambling. I do when I'm tired, or hungry, or drunk. Well, I... People can do strange things when they've had a drink. The children want to come down, but I don't especially want them to witness their mum being interrogated, so... Understood. Good. That's one of you. A chat's always better than an interrogation, anyway. And sometimes people keeping quiet is even better. Even so, if you... if you do want to talk about anything... Or about something specific... We're all ears. We are. 100% ears, 0% judgement. Laurel, have you been drinking? What? Who's been saying that? No one. We just wanted to ask the question. As friends. Who did that for you? Emma did. Emma. Did you have a lovely chat when she was doing it? Well, Laurel, all any of us cares about... When I took in a lodger, I thought, ooh... I really hope she's some massive busybody who'll believe any old codswallop some unhinged murdering cow might feed her. Can you imagine how pleased I am how this has turned out? We want to help you. Yeah, Emma's got into your head now, hasn't she, Lydia? And yours? OK, people who don't live here leave. People who do live here, believe me when I say it, it won't be for much longer unless you drop this. 